Good morning. So far we have seen how to draw Lewis dot structures. Um, it is clear that um, as I mentioned before from the Lewis structure you cannot tell or predict the uh, shape of the molecule. How to then how to tell the shape of the molecule? So, if you see some object you can tell the shape of the molecule. Okay. It is a sphere or rectangular or square like that if you see the object you can tell that, but molecules are cannot be seen by our naked eye. Then how to see the um, shape of the how to tell the what is the shape it has. Then that can be um, still one can find out the shape of the molecule by uh, doing experiment spectroscopic method another method is the single crystal x-ray diffraction method that those things uh, we are not going to see here. But However, one can tell the shape of the molecule using um, uh, yeah, the, um, yeah, model called V S the V S V S uh, E P R model. This is called um, valence shell electron pair repulsion model. electron pair repulsion model. So, using this model one can predict the shape of the molecule. So, what is the then what is the principle behind this model? You can see that from the um, okay, a title valential electron pair repulsion. So, if you take two electrons they repel each other because the charge on the two electron is the same. So, when they approach each other they repel each other they cannot get closer because they have the same charge. So, electron pair means a pair of electron is involved in forming a bond. So, as a result when the okay, there is a repulsion between a pair of electrons. So, that is why electron pair repulsion and then which electron pair repulsion? Electron pair repulsion with okay, electron pairs present in valence shell of an atom. So, that is why okay, we are going to tell the shape of the or uh, predict the shape of the molecule based on the electron pair repulsion. So, repulsions experienced by the electron pairs present in the valence shell. So, that so that is why this model is called valence shell electron pair repulsion model. So, so if you take okay, um, a region of electron density, region of electron density I mean here yep okay bonding electron pairs okay so region of electron density means okay so that is uh, which are equal to bonding electron pairs and then you have lone pair okay lone pairs you have lone pairs or unshared electrons you have so if you take a molecule it has um, okay surrounding atom so a center you have a, a central atom surrounded by a um, terminal atoms which are connected to the central atom by bonding so each bond is consisting of two electrons in addition the central atom can have a lone pairs so there is a repulsion among them so, there can be a um, repulsion between the bonding electron pairs. For example, you take a molecule A and it is surrounded by a molecule B, okay, uh, atom terminal atom B, another atom B. So, A is a central atom, B is the terminal atoms which are connected to the central atom A by bond. So, this is a bond. So, that a bond means two electrons are there. Okay. So, here there are two electrons are there. Now, um, okay, the whole molecule that is Okay, A B 2 molecule is stable compared to its um, um, atoms. So, the atom A like to likes to have both atoms B bonded to the atom A. Okay. So, but the problem is um, okay, there is a repulsion between between atoms B. So, they do not like each other like that they do not like each other, but the central atom like to have them together. So, the best way um, that the central atom can have these two B atoms which are repelling each other is, um, is, is to have them as far away as possible. 
okay okay the central atom a like to have b atoms as far away as possible okay they have to be as far away as possible why otherwise there is a repulsion between them so if b atom reduces electron dense uh, electron repulsion between atoms b by keeping the b atoms away from each other okay such in such a way that there is a less repulsion a minimum repulsion between them so the best way to arrange okay uh, two atom that is b around a is in a linear fashion so if you take a, a, okay, a circle in the middle you have atom a okay in the circle this is a 360 degree okay so if you divide the 360 degree 180 degree will come so you can put atom b here so the angle is 180 degree okay so 180 degree that is the best way of arranging atom b around the central atom a okay any arrangement less than this okay any arrangement having angle less than 180 degree will will produce more repulsion as a result the structure is not stable more repulsion means energy is positive okay repulsion between uh, electrons will lead to a positive energy so energy should be negative that is more stable so in this case if you arrange these two atom for example a um, here like that okay here so the angle between two b atom is 90 degree okay is 90 degree now because it's 90 degree they are closer b atom both two, two b atoms are closer to each other so the repulsion is more so energy is positive energy is more which is not favored but if you put the b atom in this way okay the angle is 180 degree the two b atoms are away from each other as a result okay the repulsion is avoided energy is minimum so that way okay you can tell using based on this concept you can predict the shape of the molecule okay that is why okay the shape of this type of molecule is linear okay for example carbon dioxide you take okay carbon dioxide okay first you have to do a lewis dot structure for carbon dioxide carbon dioxide so valence electron 4 uh, plus 2 into 6 electrons okay because 6 is the valence electron of oxygen so you have 12 plus 4 16 valence electrons are there okay so um, 12 uh, plus 4 16 so you arrange them so see okay approximate shape you can arrange them so arrange the two oxygen atom around the carbon atom so you can uh, then you have to uh, spend four electron to form two bonds so four electrons are gone minus four so uh, remaining is the 12 electron Rem arrange them such that octet is um, uh, reached for every atom so 12 electrons are there but if you look at the central carbon atom it is not um, at achieved um, 8 electrons so you have to full convert this lone pair into a bonding pair this also you convert and then you you can have um, c um, double bond o like that okay now octet structures so the octet of electron is achieved by the central atom because two electron two electron two electron two electrons there are eight electrons here also eight electrons here also eight electrons so, so the octet structure is over the same structure you can also write you can also write the for carbon dioxide you can also write in this way both structures both are correct okay both so i mean uh, this structure you can write this way also and you can also write this way also okay both structures are correct as far as Lewis dot structure is concerned but what is the shape as you can see here as you can see here in this structure two atoms are um, occupying positions which are having 180 degree they are far away from each other but in this case okay the angle between two oxygen atom is 90 degree so because this is one region of electron density this is one region of electron density okay electrons are repel each other they do not like to be closer to um, each other they like to be as far away from each other as possible so as a result the correct structure for carbon dioxide is a linear structure although it has a, a double bond between the um, carbon and oxygen it should be taken as one electron region so it has okay two bonding pairs but connected to the one oxygen atom so this is a one electron region okay so this is one electron region although it is connected to a, a, um, a carbon atom by double bond but it should be taken as one electron region only 
ok. So, as a result uh, the shape of the molecule is linear for carbon dioxide structure of the cell shape uh, linear which is what observed x mentally. So, the model predicted that is a VSEPR theory model predicted the shape of the carbon dioxide correctly ok which is consistent with uh, the shape determined by x mentally. Now, so if you take a ok now let us go to a another case you take a molecule of this type a central atom B f 3 boron uh, trifluoride here yeah, central atoms the boron the uh, terminal atoms are fluoride boron is surrounded by 3 fluorine atoms ok. Now, first job is to draw the Lewis dot structure boron valence electron is 3 ok. So, fluorine ok 3 into 7 electrons are there for fluorine each fluorine atom 7. So, it is a 21 plus um, okay, 24 electrons 24 valence electrons are there. So, if you arrange that B ok. So, there are B is the um, central atom because it has the um, highest bonding capacity ok because it has 3 unpaired electrons. So, you can arrange ok 3 fluorine atom around the boron fluorine atom so around the boron atom ok there are ok uh, 3 bonds. So, each bond is so 2 electrons so 6 electrons are gone are gone. So, here is remaining is the 18 electrons 18 electrons should be distributed in such a way that each atom has 8 electrons so, you can distribute in this way. Okay. So, 18 electrons are consumed, but here you can see here the central atom does not achieve the octet rule. So, uh, then actually what you can do is you can pull this lone pair to here and, and then you can have that 8 electron around that. So, as of now the number of electron around the boron atom is less than 8 electrons. So, this is called electron deficient or Lewis acid ok. This is electron electron deficient. Okay, or Lewis acid. So, BF3 is a Lewis acid molecule, Lewis acid. Now, those concept we will be say you will be studying later on. Now, the point here that here we are concerned about the shape of the molecule. Now, okay, now this molecule um, um, contains uh, how many pairs of electrons, how many regions of electrons, this is a one region of electron. So, this is a Lewis dot structure. So, one has to write the Lewis dot structure first ok. And next shape next uh, step is to find the shape of the molecule based on the um, electron pairs that electron pairs can be bonding electron pairs or lone pair of electrons. So, using ok um, those pairs of electrons you have to draw the shape approx approximate shape. Then we have to um, uh, think about the uh, repulsion between the bonding uh, okay, repulsion between the lone pair lone pair intra repulsion, lone pair bonding pair repulsion, and then bonding pair bonding bonding pair repulsions. Okay, so this here in this central atom, in this central atom, there are three um, bonding pairs are there. So when there is a three bonding, three atoms are connected, three regions. This is one region, this is another region. There are three another regions. So if you take a circle. Okay. This is a boron atom. Okay. So, the circle is a 360 degree should be divided by 3 then you will have 180 120 degree. So, that that is a ok. So, the angle between here is 120 ok. So, 120. So, that is the best way. So, you have what is the why 120 because at 120 degree um, you can have these 3 fluorine atoms far away from each other. So, if suppose if you draw any other structure B for example, like this ok. So, like this ok you can draw as far as you can put the electron here ok. So, here still the Lewis structure is correct, but the angle between them is 90 degree. So, it is not a um, ok 90 degree. So, this electron density is repelled by this electron density. So, they repel each other repulsion is more because the angle between them is lower. But if you look at arrange the three atom in this fashion, okay, 120 degree away from each other, okay, then the repulsion is reduced. That is the purpose. You should have an arrangement where there is a minimum repulsion between the electron regions. Okay, electron regions means bonding electron pairs or lone pair of electrons. So that angle is increased compared to this one. So when the angle is higher, less repulsion. Okay. So, this is the best arrangement for um, BF3. 
then the shape what is the shape when you have a uh, central atom connected to a three atoms then the shape of this molecule is um, okay um, trigonal planar structure it's called a um, trigonal planar this is called a trigonal planar okay so it's all in a plane three fluorine atoms or atoms are in a plane so trigonal okay trigonal planar structure is the correct shape of this molecule now let us see another molecule for example ch4 so as you know that so methane you can draw a lewis dot structure and then you will see that arrangement of four hydrogen atom around the central carbon atom in this way okay then you can see that so how many pairs of electrons are there it contains contains okay four electron pairs so you have a central atom surrounded by four electron pairs okay now okay so as i mentioned before if you take a circle okay in middle you have a carbon atom and arrange them okay divide this uh, 360 by 4 then you will have 90 okay 90 now if you put hydrogen here and here okay it's a, a kind of a square planar geometry but the angle between them is 90 degree but this is not the correct structure square planar is not the uh, shape of the methane okay this is square planar will come if you arrange the four hydrogen in a plane like that but if you arrange the four hydrogen atom in this fashion that is the central carbon atom okay so you put two hydrogen atom on a plane and one of the hydrogen atom okay towards you this is towards you and one of the hydrogen atom away from you okay then you will have the angle between them is 109.5 degree so compared to this structure is a square planar geometry square planar shape okay shape and geometries are interchangeably used here and then here 90 degree between the two electron this is one electron density this is another electron density the angle between them 90 degree here as for the same atom for the same electron regions okay the angle is increased how much is 109.5 degree so the angle is higher higher the angle the less the repulsion between the atoms so this structure is favorable structure for methane and the shape of this name of the shape of this molecule is tetrahedral Okay, name of the um, shape of this molecule is tetrahedral. I can explain that using a model um, system. Okay, so this is the shape of the tetrahedral. As you can see here, as you can see here, this is a shape. So if you look in this way, okay, if you look in this way, um, this this is hydrogen. The, consider this is a carbon atom, middle carbon atom, and this and this and these are hydrogen atom which are bonded so this is a bond this is are the four bonds are the four of now um, okay so you can see here in this way this hydrogen is away from you so which is given in this way okay this hydrogen is towards you which is given in this way okay solid line and these two okay and this and this atoms are in a plane okay so the, then if you look at the angle between them from here to here and you can see that which is 109.5 degree so so okay so that is why so basically okay so you have arranged a uh, molecule in a tetrahedral fashion um, okay so in a tetrahedral fashion so the angle between the two hydrogen atom is 109.5 Okay. So, that is the best arrangement of arranging four regions of electrons around the central carbon atom compared to this one. This one the angle is 90 degree more repulsion. Here angle is 109.5 so repulsion is less and the structure shape of the molecule is tetrahedral. Now let us see okay, um, molecule of this type. ammonia as you know first you have to write the Lewis dot structure it has a 5 plus 3 
okay. Uh, 5 is the valence electron of 5, 3 plus 8 electrons. So, you can draw the shape of the, um, you can draw approx approximate shape of the ammonium molecule, 3 hydrogen atom around the you know, central nitrogen atom, okay. 6 are, 6 electrons are there for forming a bond, one more electron, two more electrons is there. So, that, that two more electrons should be added to the central atom, central nitrogen atom. Now, octet structure is attained by the central nitrogen atom. Okay, for hydrogen it is only 2 electrons. So, is, this is a li correct Lewis structure. Now, how many pairs of electrons are there? It has um, 3 bonding pairs and 1 lone pair. So, in total 4 electron pairs or okay, 4 regions of of electron density. Okay. So, how to arrange the four, um, okay, four regions of electron density as I just we have seen for this type of four pairs of electrons best arrangement is a tetrahedral okay, that we just now we saw that. Then if you put the tetrahedral okay, the shape of the molecule Okay, so, it has a, a pair, you can draw like that also, okay, a pair, a, a lone pair is shown in this way, this is orbital containing a lone pair of electrons. Now, okay, so, what is the shape, then what is the shape of this molecule? Now, once again, which can be explained in this way, so, this is a nitrogen, okay, these three are hydrogen and this is a lone pair, consider this as a lone pair and this and this and this are hydrogen atoms. Uh, let us continue and then, so you have a ammonia molecule, okay. So, um, here is the ammonia molecule, this is a nitrogen atom and this these three are the hydrogen atom and this is a lone pair, consider this is a lone pair. So, if you draw a, yeah, okay, a line from here to here and here, here and here, here, there is a one phase. Similarly, here and here and here. Okay, here and here and here one phase. Similarly, here and here, here one phase. So, it forms a okay, planar um, trigonal, um, a planar okay, trigonal shape, a triangular shape forming a triangular. Now, the shape of the molecule is um, okay, uh, now this is a okay, lone pair of electrons. To tell the shape of the molecule, we should not include the um, position occupied by the lone pair of electrons. So, this should be removed to tell the shape of the molecule. Okay, we have to, we should not consider the position occupied by the uh, lone pair of electrons. Now, you can see that this is ammonia molecule. Okay. So, this ammonia molecule uh, shape of this ammonia, the shape of this type of arrangement is called trigonal pyramidal shape. So, it has a okay, trigonal Pyramidal. So, the shape of the ammonia molecule is a okay, um, trigonal pyramidal because okay, the shape is like this. Okay. So, you should not tell the shape of the ammonia molecule as tetrahedral. Tetrahedral geometry will come if there is a atom in this place. Okay. Like methane, you have four hydrogen atoms. So, its a shape is uh, okay, it's, um, uh, tetrahedral. But to tell the shape of the molecule, one should not include the um, okay, region occupied by the lone pairs. Okay. So, you have to tell the shape of the molecule based on only the um, atom positions. So, for ammonia, the shape of the shape is trigonal pyramidal. Okay. So, it is a trigonal pyramidal. So, this is a one phase, here, here is another phase, here, here is another phase. So, that is a trigonal pyramidal shape. Now, okay, so now this is um, then what is the angle between the two hydrogen atoms? The angle was found to be 107 degree. So, okay, as far as okay, four regions are concerned, the best way to arrange the four regions of electron density is by tetrahedral. But it is found that the angle is 107, it is less than Okay, 107 is less than 109.5 degree, which is for tetrahedral. Okay, tetrahedral. 
which is for tetrahedron. So, the angle is 107. What is the reason? So, there is a uh, reason how to explain that uh, lower angle observed here. Now, you have to consider what is the uh, difference between the um, between a bonding electron pair and lone pair of electrons. So, if you take a central carbon atom for example, CH 4, okay, so you have a bonding pairs, there are 4 bonding, 4 bonding pairs here. So, they are all equivalent. If you take a ammonia, okay, um, you have a 3 bonding pairs and then there is a 1 lone pair, this is a lone pair. So, this, these are the 4 here, 3 bonding pairs, 1 lone pair. Now, you can see that um, the volume, what is the difference between uh, between the volumes occupied by the lone pair of electron and the bonding electron pairs. The volume occupied by the lone pair of electron is larger compared to the volume occupied by the bonding electron pairs. Why is that? That can be explained qualitatively. Um, if you consider okay, carbon and hydrogen, okay, there is a bonding electron bonding electrons. Which okay, so this bonding electron is connected to two nucleus, two nuclei. Here is the one nucleus, here is the another nucleus. So this is okay, the bonding electron is stretched between two nucleus, okay, two nuclei. As a result, it became thin. Okay, the, it is it's a thin. So it's like that. It is like that. Okay, but if you take a lone pair, it has um, a link to the this atom, this is atom, central atom, this is central atom, here is a central atom. Okay? The lone pair is connected to its own nucleus only, but there is no atom in the opposite direction, here there is no atom. So, as a result, this okay, lone pair of electron is not pulled away or not shared, okay? that is why it is unshared lone pair, okay? it is not um, attracted by the nucleus um, which, is, which could be present opposite to this nucleus. So, it is not, there is no two nucleus present for the lone pair of electrons. So, as a result, lone pair of electron has a, um, has, has free volume. So, it is free to move everywhere. It is spread by okay, the, it itself, okay, it also uh, itself uh, in such a way that it's, it's, it, it occupies more space compared to a bonding electron pairs. Okay. If there is a nucleus here, then this lone pair also will get stretched like bonding electron pairs. Since there is no atom nucleus present here, nucleus attract the electrons. So, there is no nucleus here. So, this bonding lone pair of electron occupies more space compared to the okay, uh, bonding electron pairs. Okay. As a result, okay, there is a because it occupies more space, okay, there is a repulsion. Okay, it pushes the bonding electrons, these are the bonding electrons, pushes the bonding electrons down. Okay. So, um, as a result, the angle is less. That is the reason ammonia has, okay, ammonia angle is, okay, the angle is 107. Okay. If you take a carbon, the tetrahedral, okay, the angle is 109.5. Okay, so, here all are bonding electron pairs. Here you have okay, um, 3 bonding electron, 1 lone pair. So, lo since the lone pair occupies more space, okay, okay, as a result more repulsion. Okay. So, the repulsion can be arranged in this way. Lone pair, lone pair repulsion is greater compared to lone pair lone pair okay, bonding pair okay, and then which is um, greater compared to bonding pair pair. So, the repulsion is highest for lone pair lone pair. If there is a two lone pairs attached to central atom the repulsion between them is greatest. So, lone pair, lone pair okay, repulsion is greatest one compared to okay, the lone pair bonding electron, okay, bonding pairs, which is less compared to this one. 
Okay. This is still higher compared to the bonding electron, bonding, bonding electron pairs, bonding electron pair repulsion. So, so the okay, so the bomb, the repulsion decreases from left to right side, decreases. This is this has a lone pair, lone pair uh, repulsion is the greatest repulsion. So, in that way, you have a repulsion between the lone pair of electron and the bonding electron pairs. There is a repulsion. Okay, so that is greatest. Okay, compared to a bonding electron pairs. So this is a bonding electron pair. This is a bonding electron. There is a repulsion. However, the repulsion between lone pair and the bonding electron is the greatest. As a result, it pushes these bonding electrons, these bonding electron down. As a result, the angle between the two hydrogen atom is 107. It is not 109.5, which is a typical for tetrahedral arrangement of four atoms around a central atom. Here, although you have ammonia, you have a four electron pairs, the angle is 107 because the lone pair present on the nitrogen atom pushes the bonding electron pairs down. Okay, Q says the bonding of four hydrogen, three hydrogen atom closer to each other in a, as a result, 107 is the angle between the two hydrogen atom and the shape is a trigonal pyramidal. I hope this is clear. So, there is a difference okay, between the volume occupied by the bonding electron pairs and lone pair of electrons as a result uh, using which one can predict the shape and one can explain the difference in angle between um, a typical, uh, a typically expected value and the observed value. Now, let us see a molecule of water. Okay. So, you know that central atom is oxygen atom and there is a okay, two hydrogen atom attached to this one and there is a lone pair. There are two lone pairs on the oxygen atom. Okay. So, the lone pair lone pair repulsion is the greatest as I mentioned here. So, because of that there are two lone pairs lying on the oxygen atom. So, so, in total how many number of electron pairs? There are four number of electron pairs. Okay? One pair, two pairs, third pair, fourth pair. There are four pairs. The best way to arrange four pairs of electron is a tetrahedral. So, including the what then what is the shape of the oxygen molecule? The shape of the oxygen molecule is not a tetrahedral. It is a bent structure, angular structure. Okay? Bend or angular. Shape of the molecule is angular shape. Okay. So, it is angular. So, the, then it is found that the angle between the two hydrogen atom is 104.5. Angle is, okay, it is 10 between 104.5 degree. The angle is less. So, this is still okay, lower compared to the tetrahedral angle or the angle found in ammonia. It is 107 only. Okay, it is 107 because it has one lone pair, but in water there are two lone pairs. So, the lone pair lone pair repulsion is the greatest. Okay. So, as a result, it pushes both lone pairs, pushes the bonded um, bonding electron pairs come to come closer. So, as a result, the angle is 104.5 degree. Okay. So, this okay, one has to understand understood properly why the angle is 104.5. Okay, compared to ammonia. So, there is a relationship between these two molecules, ammonia and water. The number of lone pairs or number of regions of electron is the same. Here 4, here is 4. Okay, when you have a 4 pairs of electron, the usual arrangement is the tetrahedral. So, arrange the molecule and then look into the repulsion between the lone pair lone pairs and lone pair bonding electron pairs. So, here there is a lone pair lone pair interactions repulsion as well as lone pair bonding electron pair repulsion. So, as a result the angle is lower in water compared to ammonia. So, from these considerations we can tell okay, we can predict from these um, repulsions we can predict so, if you can, uh, I can tabulate them, number of number of electron regions, if you consider, and the arrangement. Okay. If you have number of electron regions, 
is um, 2, the shape is linear. Okay, shape is linear. If you have 3 regions of electrons, the shape is trigonal plan planar. If you have, um, if you have um, regions of four electron, four regions of electron density, then shape is a tetrahedral. If you have, okay, five, okay, the shape is um, trigonal, bipyramidal. Okay, what is that? We'll see that la little later on. Then, if you have uh, six regions of electron density, okay, the shape is octahedral. Okay, so one has to keep in mind this type of. If you have two regions of electron density density around a central atom, the shape is the shape of the molecule is or geometry of the molecule is linear. If you have three regions of electron density, the, in the shape is a trigonal planar. If you have a four regions of electron density, it is a tetrahedral. If you have five trigonal bipyramidal, there is another shape possible, okay, square pyramidal. Pyramidal. Okay, square pyramidal. Square pyramidal. So, that is like this, that we will see later on. So, there is a two ways of arranging um, uh, five electron um, uh, five electron regions around the central atom that one is a trigonal bipyramidal another one is square pyramidal okay so suppose you have okay let us see five regions of electron density okay so this is called um, trigonal bipyramidal okay so this is called a trigonal bipyramidal that can be drawn in this way you have a central okay, um, atom. Uh, for example, let me take a molecule P F okay, 5. Central atom is the phosphorus and then 5 fluorine atom can be drawn in this way. Okay, this way. So, uh, the central phosphorus atom contains 5, 10 valence electrons that means 5 pairs of electrons or five regions of electron density okay which can be arranged in this way the shape of then the shape of the molecule this molecule is a trigonal bipyramidal this is a trigonal bipyramidal shape okay so in the trigonal bipyramidal shape these three atoms so one two three are in a plane because they are all in a plane and these two so then these three are called equatorial plane. So, these three atoms are called equatorial plane. So, you can see that you can draw like that okay, equatorial plane and then these two atoms are okay, axial atoms because these are occupying the axial po positions. Okay. So, these are there are two types of arrangement one is in a planar three atoms are in a planar arrangement another two atoms are in the in the axial positions. Okay. So, this way the angle between the two hydrogen two atoms suppose if you take here and and here the angle between them is 120 degree. So, this is a 120 degree. If you take angle between this atom and this atom it is okay. So, it is 90 degree 90 degree there are two types of angle. So, this is the best way of way of arranging five regions of electron density around the central atom. Okay, any other arrangement okay, um, if you do okay, that will have um, more repulsions as a result energy will be more. Okay. So, in addition there is another, another way of arranging 5 regions of electron density in this way. In this way you can also arrange that square pyramidal shape, square pyramidal shape. So, in like that. So, these four fluorine atoms are in a plane and then at the at this um, top that is axial position you have only one fluorine atom. So, this way also you can arrange this also you can arrange, but compared to so then we, then the question is which is the correct structure 
arrangement. So, the, okay, energetically, if you look at the energy uh, value of these two arrangement, this is slightly lower compared to this one. So, most of the um, uh, compounds, most of the five coordinated compounds, except coordination compounds, okay, have this type of this trigonal bipyramidal geometry only. Trigonal bipyramidal geometry is a favorable geometry for five coordinated compounds okay, compared to the this type this geometry, square pyramidal geometry, because energy this energy energy of this arrangement is slightly higher okay, compared to this one. So, there are however, there are several molecules are known having this type of geometry, but most of them having this only. So, that is the way of arranging five atoms around a central atom if you have 5 regions of electron density. Similarly, what about 6? If you have 6 regions of electron density, then the best way to arrange them is um, by octahedral manner. What is octahedral shape? Okay. This is octagonal shape. This is the octagonal shape. You can see here there are this is central atom connected to a six atoms. So, you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are six atoms connected to the central atom. So, this is this is a uh, shape of octahedral. Okay. That is the best way of arranging six regions of our, um, electron density around a central atom of this. Okay. Are there any other arrangement? Okay, will lead to a um, higher energy state, which is not favorable. So, more repulsion will be there. So, this is the best way to arrange uh, six uh, regions of electron density around, uh, around a central atom. And here, okay, so these four atoms, okay, these four atoms are in a plane. These two are in a, in the axial positions. Now, let us see few more molecules. Okay. Uh, so, let us see this type of molecule, sulphur tetrafluoride. Now, first job is to draw the Lewis dot structure. Sulphur has uh, 6 electrons. Okay. So, it is because it is uh, in the oxygen group uh, 6 plus 4 into 7, 7 is a valence electron of fluoride. So, okay. so in total you have 32 electrons. How much? Uh, uh, okay, uh, sorry, uh, it's 34 electrons. In total, you have 34 electrons, 34 valence electrons are there. So, you can draw the approximate um, uh, geometry, uh, okay. You can arrange the sulfur is the central atom, and then you can draw, okay, um, four fluorines around the uh, central sulfur atom. So, there are four bonds um, are drawn. So, eight electrons are gone, gone the eight, okay. So, the remaining is uh, 26 electrons. Okay, so 26 electron can be arranged in this way. Okay, 6 plus 6 plus 18 plus 6. Okay, so 24 electrons are gone. So minus 24 electron remaining so 2 electrons. So that 2 electrons should be added to the central atom. So the remaining leftover electrons should be added after uh, filling the octet of um, terminal atoms. The remaining leftover electrons should be given to the central atom. Now you can say so. This is the correct Lewis dot structure. Um, okay, it's although central atom doesn't obey the octet rule. Okay, so it's exceeding the number of um, okay more number of electrons. Okay, so however we arrange the electron around these atoms uh, using the, um, whatever valence electrons are available. Now, you can see that. So, the, how many pairs of electrons? Now to, now, to tell the shape of the molecule, you have to look at the number of pairs of electrons or number of regions of electrons. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 bonding pairs and there is a 1 lone pairs. 1 lone pairs. In total, there are 5 okay, regions electron density. 5 region. So, if you so you know if you have a 5 region of electron density, the best arrangement is the trigonal bipyramidal. 
Okay. So, you can uh, so you can draw the uh, trigonal pi primordial geometry of this type. So, if you consider these two fluorine atom as the axial positions and these two in the equatorial and then put the lone pair in the equatorial positions. Now, that you can that I can explain by looking at this model. Okay. So, this is a trigonal bipyramidal arrangement because you have four five regions of electron density around the central atom, around the central sulfur atom. So, this is a sulfur atom okay. and then there are four fluorine atoms. Let us arrange them and one lone pair of electrons. Okay. So, there are two ways you can arrange that. Okay. So, the lone pair, this lone pair can be put in the equatorial plane. So, this is the equatorial. So, if you consider this a fluorine, fluorine and this is fluorine, this is fluorine. So, four fluorines are there. Then one lone pair you can put in the equatorial plane. So, this is the equatorial because this is the equatorial plane. Okay. Trigonal bipyramidal, this is the equatorial plane. So, two fluorines, two fluorines. The remaining one, the last, this position is occupied by the lone pairs. So, you can put the lone pair in the equatorial position. So, there is another way you can arrange that is to put the lone pair in the in, in this axial position. So, that you can draw structure like this sulphur. Okay. So, you can draw like this. So, it is a lone pair okay. fluorine, fluorine and fluorine and fluorine. Okay. You can draw. So, there is a there are two ways you can arrange the lone pair in this structure. Okay. Um, the lone pair is okay. This is a lone pair. So here, okay, lone pair. Okay, so our okay, lone pair. So the lone pair is in the equatorial position. In in this structure, the lone pair is in the axial position. So here the axial positions. So between these are two ways you can arrange it now. So between these two structure, um, what is the actual uh, structure or what is the, what is the shape of the molecule? Now we have to um, see the repulsion. We can tell predict the shape of the molecule based on the repulsion. If you have the lone pair in this position, that is the equatorial position, the lone pair is repelled by the bonding electron pair. So, this is a bonding electron pair. So, this is atom, this is atom. In between you have bond. That bond means electrons are there. That electron will be repelled by electron present in the in this region. So, that is a lone pair. So, there is a repulsion. So, angle between the here and here is 90. Okay. So, this is a 90. Okay. Similarly, this lone pair is repelled by the this bonding electron pair. So, because there is a fluorine, there is a fluorine. So, there is another 90 degrees. So, it, okay, if you have a structure where the lone pair is occupied, occupying the equatorial position, then you will have two 90 degree repulsions. Okay. Let us see how many number of 90 degree repulsions present in this um, structure. So, if you take this is a square uh, trigonal bipyramidal geometry you in this for this structure this is a you consider this is a lone pair. Now, this if we put the lone pair here the lone pair is repelled by the bonding electron pair of this one there is a repulsion from this bonding electron there is a repulsion from this one. So, it experiences this lone pair experiences 390 degree um, repulsion. So, it has 390 degree repulsion. But this structure has 290 degree, 290 degree repulsion. Okay, 290 degree repulsion. So you have to choose a structure, um, okay, uh, based on the repulsions. The structure with the less 90 degree, okay, less repulsion is the best or the favored structure. So between these two, this structure is a favorable structure because it contains um, 290 degree repulsion compared to this structure where there are 390 degree repulsions. So repulsion is more because there is a more repulsion between the lone pair and bonding electron pair. Here comparatively less bonding electron repulsion, okay, bonding electron pair and lone pair repulsions. Now, what is the um, uh, shape of them? Um, yes, you have 4. So, you have 2 arrangements like this. Okay. 
the lone pair this is a um, lone pair and then you have arrangement like this okay so lone pair and then okay, uh, okay lone pair and then you have your fluoride okay so between these two structure which structure is the correct shape of the molecule what is the structure the shape of the correct shape, uh, correct structure of the molecule is this one because it has a Two ninety degree repulsion. Here there are three ninety degree repulsions. This is the correct structure. Correct. Then the shape should be um, uh, should be the shape of the molecule should be based on the arrangement of the atom, not based on the arrangement of the lone pair. Then the shape of this molecule is called seesaw. Seesaw shape. Okay. So you can see that what is the shape? Seesaw arrangement. So, that seesaw arrangement of the okay, uh, geometry is based on the arrangement of these fluorine atom, not based on this lone pair. Now, let us see another molecule, okay, um, Br F 3. Now, you have to find out the draw the structure of the molecule. So, boron, uh, boron the bromine has valence electron 7 plus 3 into 7. Okay, so, you have uh, 21, 28 electrons in total the valence electrons. So, arrange them, um, okay. so there are 6 bonding electrons, so 6 minus 22, so you can arrange them like that. So, 18s are gone. So, remaining is a 4 electrons. The 4 electrons should be added to the central atom so, here and here. Now, this is a Lewis dot structure for BrF3. Now, what is the shape of the molecule? Now, the central atom contains okay, two lone pairs. So, this is one lone pair, this is another lone pair. Okay, so, in total, so there are how many pairs of electrons? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, okay, 5 pairs Okay, of electrons, 5 pairs of electrons. That means, 5 regions of electrons. The best way to arrange 5 regions of electron density is trigonal bipyramidal. Okay, trigonal bipyramidal. So, if you arrange the bromine uh, at the central and then arrange the two flu 3 fluorine atom in this way, okay, and then this is a trigonal bipyramidal. So, this is a lone pair, this is a lone pair. Okay. So, because there are 5 regions of electron density. So, as soon as you get 5 regions, the best uh, the best uh, shape is the trigonal bipyramidal. So, you draw the approximate structure. Now, uh, which is the best uh, way of uh, looking, what is the best structure for this? So, I in this structure, both lone pairs are on the equatorial plane. You can also have uh, in this way. lone pair, here is the lone pair. Two lone pairs are occupying the axial positions. You can also have arrangement in this way. Okay, so, so uh, lone pair. Okay, so in this structure, two lone pairs are in the equatorial positions. In this structure, lone pairs are in the axial positions of the tri trigonal bipyramidal. In this structure, one lone pair is the, in the equatorial plane, another lone pair is in the axial positions. Now, you have to look at the uh, repulsions experienced um, by bonding electron pairs or uh, electron pairs. Now, if you look at this structure, okay, here the lone pair, lone pair repulsion is the greatest one. Here you have, so the lone pair is repelled by this bonding electron pair by 2. So, there is 1 here, there is 1, 90, 2 90 degree. So, it has 2 90 degree repulsions. But if you look at this one, okay, this lone pair is repelled by bonding electron pair. So, angle is uh, 90. So, the here is a 1, here is a 1. So, it similarly here, okay, there are 3 for this lone pair. Similarly, for this lone pair, there are 6. So, 6 90 degree repulsions. Uh, if you look at this one, Okay, so, this lone pair okay, is repelled by this fluorine atom. So, 290 degree and then this lone pair is repelled by this lone pair. So, there are 390 degree. 
okay there are 390 degree for this one there are 690 degree repulsions so which structure has less repulsions this structure has the less number of 90 degree repulsions okay so that's why the, um, this is the shape of the molecule now the shape is um, a t shape this is called a t shape t shape okay it has a t shape so t shape is um, okay is given to this structure of the molecule based on the arrangement of the three fluorine atoms not by the arrangement of the lone pairs okay so uh, in addition one can also explain the structure actual structure of this brf3 based on the lone pair lone pair repulsions lone pair since lone pair wanted more volumes okay so the best place for that to uh, is to occupy the equatorial plane because in the equatorial plane the angle between the atom to electron density here to here is 120 degree okay so it is far away from each other if you put the lone pair on the axial position the angle is 90 degree so the best way to put the lone pair is in the equatorial plane that gives the structure of lower energy so that's why the shape of this brf3 is a t shape okay it's a t shape because it looks like a t okay this is a t so this is one terminal this is another terminal atom this is another terminal atom this is a middle atom so it's a t shape thank you